off until we secure the LZ. Okay, everyone, let's take these guys down. We've got movement in the trees, southeast. RPGs on the far ridge. space before we can pull this mother out on your fucking toes people is secure. Get in the veto. We're leaving. Everyone, prepare for evac! Emerson, we're prepped for evac. Camera data's being uploaded. Things are changing rapidly, Psycho. Satellite footage shows the KPA are loading that cask onto a submarine. Intel predicts that they intend to ship out the warheads to our carrier fleet. Once that submarine goes under the waves, we've lost. There's no way we can track it. Our next contact could be when it vaporizes the USS Lexington. So get moving. Yes, ma'am. To the sub, you're gonna need to infiltrate the harbor up ahead. There's heavy defenses up front, so you might want to try flanking it. Resistance ahead. Can you see any alternate routes? Negative. Bollocks. I'll give you air support as long as I can, okay? Mate, I'm gonna get you grounded. So what else is new? Heads up. The Koreans are blocking the road ahead. Don't let them take you by surprise.
Okay, the sub's still in the harbor. The cargo doors are sealed tight, so it must be ready to roll. Any intel on how to crack this thing? The only lead I have is a Korean Milnet connection in the harbor. Interface with it and I'll see what I can do. Access is in one of the KPA prefabs on the north wall. KPA has been moving munitions into one of the buildings. I saw them with an EMP grenade launcher. Check it out. at the United Nations immediately condemned what they claimed to be a war crime, and a day of mourning was decreed in the country in memory of the general. The White House has so far refused to comment. Referring to a substantial gains and the capture of key targets, Blackburn urged the PRK government to end the crisis by accepting a U.S. proposal for withdrawal. KPA sources are calling it an assassination. In spite of the undeniable and rapid success of Task Force's speed and strength strategy, the death of General Keong came while he sat in his bunker far ahead of the U.S. Marines' main battle group. It was not his death that surprised observers on this small island chain, but its timing. Talk here in the capital Heilong is focusing on cruise missiles and predator drones. But with General Keong rumored to have been holed up deep within his mountain mine complex, the most popular explanation so far seems to be that it was a special forces operation. The Department of Homeland Security has raised the maritime threat level to severe. U.S. naval forces in all theaters have been put on full alert. And all U.S. ports are imposing increased security measures. Homeland Security Secretary James Branch refused to speculate on any possible threat and advised people to go about their business with confidence and vigilance. Lee Martins, reporting from New York. The Department of Homeland Security may not be talking, but the word on everyone's lips this morning is warhead. It's the nightmare scenario that circled from one dark corner of the blogosphere to the next for decades, but now it is back on the front page of the National Daily. There were angry scenes outside the Port Newark Elizabeth Marine Terminal this morning as contract laborers, lacking the highest security clearance necessary to gain access, were locked out from their place of work. The New York Port Authority declined to comment on potential threats or their vectors, or when the contractors would be allowed to return to work. But the biggest story of the day is the scrambling of six Navy sub-killers from the U.S. naval base in Guam. With the crisis escalating on the Pacific Archipelago on the Lingshan Islands, there's no doubt in anyone's mind where these sub-killers are destined for. But
But what's catching many colonists' attention is the fact that they were scrambled the very day that maritime security was raised too severe. If all eyes weren't already turned to this conflict, they are now. WBA News. Jackpot. You can open the doors. I'm gonna access their emergency system. I can force the sub's computer network to run a fire drill. That should open the doors automatically. Nice one. I've got KPA positions flagging red all over your combat area. Korean reinforcement chocks are zeroing in on your position as we speak. How did this happen? I guess that was me. I infiltrated their security systems. O'Neill, you will RTB immediately. Your assistance is not required. I don't want any more Code Blue incidents. Mom. No, she's right. I better get this VTOL back on deck. You be safe now. You hear me? Psycho, that submarine is still scheduled to leave any moment. You've got minutes before your entire area is overrun by KPA forces. Our only hope is for you to get on board. The container's nowhere to be seen. They must have those warheads on the sub already.
Yankee Sekida. I'm British, you muppet. Muppet? Idiot. When we calibrate the suit, it can get a bit tight. Like Crump, only worse. Until the suit compensates, the pain is unbearable. Then there's a gap between skin and suit. Too close, and it can irritate the skin. Too far, and it starts to tear the skin from your flesh. I'm a POW, you bastard! We respect the Geneva Convention. But the nano suit is not a recognized uniform. It invalidates your rights. Ugh! <sighs>